Hello everyone, welcome to the session of bringing your own model. In this session, we'll discuss how this feature will allow you to bring your own models from Azure AI Foundry in your agent. This you will be able to do so with your prompt action. This will enable you to leverage specialized models tailored to your unique business needs, enhancing your capability within your agent. Hi everyone, I'm MK Bajwa, Senior Product Manager at Microsoft. Today, I'll be talking through Bring Your Own Model in detail with you. In this session, we'll talk through a quick intro of AI tools, followed by a quick introduction of Prompt Action or Prompt Builder. And then we'll talk about Bring Your Own Model in detail, followed by a demo in the end. So let's go into AI go into AI tools. Agents have become really popular among enterprises where more and more enterprises are using an agents to enhance productivity and streamline operations within the enterprises. With more customers trusting these agents, more agents are being created. The number that you see right now on the screen is increasing every day. When we are talking about AI, one of the things that comes to our mind is Copilot. Copilot, uh, Copilot can be made enterprise ready by using any agent. You can use these agents to have a, and cater towards a specific enterprise use cases. For example, there can be agent for HR, there can be an agent for your finance team, there can be agent, uh, agent for your marketing team as well. So there are agents that can be created for specific use cases itself and these agents can be made smarter by having right enterprise data so they are tailored towards your own organization and they are working with the data that is for your own organization using right knowledge sources to give you those outputs and when we talk about agents there are two different things that we have to keep in mind one is knowledge and other is action. Knowledge allows your agent to provide richer and more contextual response with for your organization and action, action enables your agents to perform tasks in real time, giving information, getting information real time, even making updates and deletes as well. These actions can be added in agents from two places, one within the agent itself from your action tab or through the topic and other you can now come into the new UX of tools, which makes it very easier for you to add any action to your uh, action that can be created for your agent. These actions really have these actions can be a prompt action, it can be a REST API action, flow, or a connector. For this session, we will be going into the detail of like a prompt action. Prompt builder or prompt action is now having a new UI, which is far more cleaner. Prompt builder enables you to define a prompt using a natural language, making it intuitive and user friendly. You can specify the input such as text, document or images and clearly outline the expected response. The approach simplifies the process of creating a high quality, uh, quality prompt aligned with your intent. The new user experience in of Prompt Builder allows uh, allows it and makes it very simple for you to have all input related stuff on the left and all output related stuff towards the right. You have drop down to choose different input types, which range from text, images, and documents. And you have model selector as well, where you can select the model you want to work with. Uh, finally, at the end, you also have draft with Copilot, which allows you to define what is the business scenario that you're going after, define, uh, define that business scenario, and this Draft with Copilot will create a prompt for you. The prompt action is already GA. This works really well with data and it has a huge selection of prompts in prompt library as well, which where the prompt ranges from customer sentiment, summarization, and a lot more. You can use any of those existing prompts, tweak it from there, or you can create a new one as well. Some of the features that are right now in public preview, you have selection of more input types like text, images, and documents. And you have other models that are getting added like O1 reasoning model. And finally, drafted Copilot, which allows, 
allows it to be very simple for you to get started for prompt builder uh, for for creating a prompt builder action by using natural language in order to create it so now coming to bringing your own model as you talk about models all of this is possible with azure ai foundry there are is a wide selection of 1800 plus models out there you can build you can make selection from the huge model catalog where you have all these models present you can discover the model that works best for the task type that you have it can be you have a task for summarization you have a task for image for working with an image you have a task of a huge data set so based on your task type the models that work best for you you can to pick the model from azure ai foundry and when we talk about this entire selection being really wide here is a quick example of some of these models that are present in azure ai foundry the range uh, range is really a range is really wide and these models uh, these models have been increasing week over week with some of the new, new releases coming up in last 6 months we have increased a catalog 7x times where more and more models have been made available in azure ai foundry and now coming to the uh, coming to how this entire goodness that's in the azure ai foundry can be brought into your agent that you have created for specific business needs you can bring any of these models that are in azure ai foundry in your agent directly or you can also use it as part of your prompt builder in prompt builder you have a selection of model where you can pick the model that you want this prompt to work with you can use that feature in order to gain access uh, 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 you you can use that feature in order to get response from a specific model itself it allows you to have a model that makes it much more efficient you are getting right kind of a quality that you are looking for you can compare between multiple models to see which is the one that works best for your use case and when i say so it's not only limited to copilot studio prompt builder is also available in par apps par automate you can use this feature also in these surface areas and build the prompts that work best for your use case so now let's get into the demo In this demo I'll be showing you a scenario of Contoso finance agent which is a agent that can be used by the financial finance team in the in Contoso organization that works with a huge data huge databases and they can use the prompt in order to get answer from huge uh, from those databases real uh, databases and use it for some of the reporting that they have to do within the organization for this use case I'll be building the prompt and I'll be comparing the output with multiple models and see which is the one that works best for me then i'll be adding this to my agent and then finally we'll be testing it out together mo well, we will see contoso finance agent which has uh, which is used by the finance team itself in order to get information that they use for multiple reporting tasks this information is stored in database table that have that are getting updated in real time via various teams that are keeping them up to date and we will be using prompt action in order to get this information from these data verse tables when we will be using the prompt actions these prompt actions will be working with multiple models in some cases 4 4.1 in other case 5 we'll see how these the output is different with different kind of models and then lastly we'll go ahead and test out that how this contoso finance a uh, finance mod uh, agent is coming together so let's go into copilot studio in copilot studio is your place in uh, for creating any kind of an agent in this let's go ahead go to the tools add a new prompt and in this new prompt you see you have a model drop down you have some of these models like managed models already available for you which you can go ahead and select but below you see azure ai foundry model box as well which you can click on plus and add this information the first four columns deployment name base model url and api key is information that you get for any of your deployed models in azure ai foundry and you have to copy paste exact information that you see in foundry so as to make sure that your accurate model is getting connected 
Lastly, for model name and model description, I'll be adding 4 point, uh, GPT 4.5 and giving a description that I want to see in the drop down of model. After I click on connect, my GPT 4.5 model, which is in my foundry, will get connected. And now I can use this GPT 4.5 model from this drop down. And this will be available for me also in my models page. And I can use it across for multiple, uh, multiple different prompts. And now let's go to a agent that has been created by one of the team members in Contoso. Ms. Bajwa has created a agent which is which has two of these actions for profitability as well as a cost. Let's go ahead and see what are these different uh, different prompts looking like and what is the information that's that's in there. As we see over here, it is giving in, getting information from various dataverse tables. There are a wide variety of models for. Uh, for the maker to choose from. For this use case, maker wants to compare between 4.1 and 4.5 to see which is uh, how the output differs between both of the them and make a choice accordingly. Both of these models are expected to work well with a large data set. Hence, for a finance related agent, it makes perfect sense to make a comparison. As we see, we get a response for 4.5 a little quicker, whereas the response itself is very concise. For 4.1, the response took a slightly higher time, but it is far more detailed. It is in very structured tabular format. For this particular scenario, because it is used for reporting and team uses it for various kind of analysis, uh, the maker chooses to use 4.1. And before making that final decision, maker wants to also compare it with DeepSeek, which is also expected to give the response a lot more in detail. And let's see how the response is different between 4.1 versus DeepSeek. As you see over here in DeepSeek, I have got a detailed response, uh, but the structure of 4.1 is, is the one that works well for my scenario because it gives the answer in a tabular format. And that is the need for my, for my users in Contoso Finance. And let's go ahead and check out the second prompt that is added in this scenario. In this scenario, the other prompt that is added is for cost. It is also working with some of these dataverse tables. And now I want to use 5.4 because 5.4 also gives me an idea about how these calculations have been done. Considering cost is a very sensitive topic within the contour. So the maker chooses to use 5.4 just so that the explanation of these calculations is also given to the, uh, given to the users. So hence now, this contours of finance is ready for the finance team to use. Moran in in uh, contours of finance team goes goes ahead and starts checking out uh, using starts using it to get the prof uh, profitability analysis. Uh, as soon as the prompt is shared. Uh, as soon as they interact with the agent, you get a very detailed response of the profitability, giving you a lot more information over here, answers also in the uh, in the tabular format, making it a lot more easier for you uh, for this new team member to get any information from. Now, Moran also looks at the uh, looks at the cost as well because there is a discussion going on in order to give a detailed report to the manager Linda. And as we see over here, we get a very detailed response over here as well, with also the calculations added, making it easier for the new member to understand how these calculations have been done so that they can make, uh, they can comprehend all this information and give this answer back to the manager. And now satisfied with the responses that came with an agent, now Moran will go ahead and draft an email for the manager Linda just to and have both of this information added in. And now with just a very single, a very simple prompt itself, 
Moran is now an expert in, within the organization, understanding a lot of complex metrics in terms of profitability and cost within a couple of seconds, making it easier to get started and give an accurate information. So by doing this, you can, for any of your agent, in any of your prompt action, you can use the model that works best for you. The experience that you just saw of bringing your own model is right now in public preview. You can use that in Copilot Studio, Power Apps and Power Automate and bring your own model in your prompt action. Now coming back to the deck, uh, bring your own model is right now in public preview. You can go ahead and access it in Copilot Studio. You can access it in Power Apps. You can also access it in Power Automate. Uh, and you can use any of the models that are already deployed in Azure AI Foundry by using a couple of steps. And finally, the key takeaways, feel free to try out the AI prompt, uh, prompt builder, new UX, and use the new AI tools experience to create agents, to create actions for these agents and make your agents enterprise ready. You can use many of these models that are present in Azure AI Foundry, uh, deploy those models. You can use them in your prompt action itself. Use them as part of your, uh, part of your agent within uh, use them as part of a agent and these are the ones that you can use for very specific business cases it will open new gateways in terms of multiple business scenarios that you can go ahead and try out and that brings me to the end of it feel free to try out bring your own model uh, bring your own model in copilot studio thank you so much